It's that time again. Yeah. This time, we've got this done. And it's time for the Explanation Pirate Ship. And I'm going to show you how to make that. You're going to need two things from your first foldable. And those are these. You are going to need... Now get a different color. We'll make this nice and clear for you. You're going to need a topic sentence. Well, you got three of those bad boys right here. All right? And you're going to put them, this is folded in half like this, and I didn't use scissors. You will, but we provided. All right? And you got to write those three topic sentences at the top part of this. So what are my three topic sentences from the video before this? Well, they all three got the same opinion, so I'm going to write that opinion again. The old woman is wise. Because. Put that on the next one. The old woman is wise. Because. Move on to the next one. The old woman is wise. Because. It's easy. Alright? Same opinion each time. Now I have to put a different reason for all three, because those will constitute, eventually, my three separate body paragraphs. So, what's the word hummingbird? First is, she left the twigs behind for her son, because she left the twigs behind for her son. What it is! Why else? Because she solved the rope riddle. We Gucci. And then finally, the wise old woman is wise because she solved the drum riddle. Take a look. You've got your topic sentence. You've also got to put your quote on there. How am I going to fit it all? By not writing so big. All right, I'm using markers and I'll be able to fit it. So can you. I believe in you. All right, so I'm going to write these quotes in a lovely brown. All right, and where am I going to find them? I already got them in my first foldable. All right, that's why it's a prerequisite for this second foldable. <laughs> So, the twig's good, I'm gonna write that at the bottom. Bro, I'll get you food in a minute, okay? Blank. Remember, this is about the twigs. I am just marking your way so you will, bless you, Lori, not get lost on your way back to the village. Page 8. Oh, it's right there on the front. Next quote goes along with the rope bit when she says, soak ordinary rope in salt water. You crazy grandma. Alright, and that's right on page 8. She just can't stop solving those. That's, that's just the way she is. She'll never change. That's actually page nine. You can fix that. And then finally, she solves the drum riddle. As it, referring to the bumblebee, as it tries to, as Dory might say, escape, escape, I'll say escape, it will buzz beat itself against the paper, the drum that it is. Alright, and that's from page 10. Oh. So here's how you do the front. Topic sentence, quote. Topic sentence, matching quote. Topic sentence, a quote. Then in here, you open it up. That's part of the pirate ship, right? And you put a one on top, really small, 
and a two on the bottom, really small as well. I'm going to do that. All right. Now, let's take a look at some sentence stars, and I'll show you the easiest ones. And then you can go with more challenging ones as you become uh, better at this. Solve for explanation one. There's character verb. I think that's the easiest one, and for this first essay, it's what I would suggest using. So it says character verb. I'm just trying, let, letting you know the way so you'll not get lost. That's essentially what Grandma's saying. And putting her words in your own word in third person is what you need to do for explanation one. So character verb. Who's the character? Grandma. She's the person talking, or she's the person it's mostly about at that part of the story. So, I'll write, the old woman is telling her son, because it's dialogue, son, that she is marking the way so he will not get lost when he goes home. Easy, peasy, one, two, threesy, mac and cheesy. Alright, now we got explanation two. Now, you saw a bunch of sentences there, but I would go with the most familiar one that we've used before in the experienced reader. Alright, so, the experienced reader. Oh, I know. The experienced reader can already tell mom got that knowledge has that knowledge she was not sending in for why clever to think of showing the son a way back and her actions probably, nah, definitely saved her own life. Right? Explanation one. Explanation two. Don't get no better than this. Alright? The old woman is wise because she saw the rope riddle, right? And there's a quote. Silk, soak ordinary salt water. Who's saying that? That was a quote again. Who's saying that? Oh, so we use the character verb again. Character verb is saying. Mom, she's basically the mom of the farmer in the story, is saying that soaking the rope will still burn it. I'll give a little bit of more information. The sun goes off to help the cruel young lord solve First, you know, yeah, you know what it is, you know what's coming. The experienced reader for explanation too. Now I'm writing a real short essay in a short amount of time. I know for a fact in FACT that I'm giving you a lot more time. So take advantage of it. The experienced reader, this is based on this quote still in Brown. The experienced reader. Would, re would remember that no one else in the entire village could solve that rope riddle if 
it took the old woman's experience. Oh, gee, I wonder what a synonym for experience is. I wonder if it's wisdom. Oh, yeah, it is. To save everyone from Lord Higa. Boom! Now, you can write a little bit more in your essay. But this is just your pre-writing. It's just getting your thoughts together, getting your thoughts organized. Once you start typing, good God. All right, finally, here's the last one. So we can complete our explanation pirate ship. And the quote is, as it tries to escape, it will buzz and beat itself against the paper. Well, I might just do the same thing. Who's, who's saying that again? Oh, yeah, the wise old woman. The old woman... is telling her son again how to solve Lord Higa's B riddle or B related riddle because Lord Higa doesn't know the answer to his own riddles in question, right? So, part two, you know what? I'm going to go with experienced reader again. All right, it's solid gold. So, the experienced reader can tell. Can tell that only a really, I don't even need to shine this time, smart person could solve this tricky riddle. Another sentence for posterity. Mom solves this riddle with a chuckle. <laughs> That's so easy. She is so clever, smart, you know what? Let's do it. We haven't done it since the topic sentence. Wise. Wise. Once you have this done, and once you have this done, which I was able to finish both in about, I don't know, 15 minutes at the very most, all right, and that's because I'm switching up markers and nonsense and making a video, I give you a lot more time. So I know that you can get this one done in the amount of time I give you and this one. I know this is drier than toast without butter, that's burnt, right? But, you got all the ammunition you'll need for the perfect essay.